guys, welcome to Alexa Loves Makeup. Today I am doing my long-awaited highlight and contour video along with my foundation routine, I guess you could say. Um, this I'm just doing this that way in future videos. I don't have to go through and explain exactly what I'm doing. I can just link this below and you guys will be able to watch it and see my technique for contouring and highlighting. If you guys want to see how I contour and highlight my face, please stay tuned and I'll show you. Alright guys, so I'm starting off with a freshly... Freshly, freshly moisturized face. Um, I use my Clinique moisturizer, the one that I usually always use. Um, I'm just going to pin my hair back for this. Just so I don't, you know, get any of my foundation or anything in my hair. The first thing I like to do is take a damp beauty blender. This is probably my all-time favorite way to apply foundation because honestly, it just makes it go on a lot more flawless looking and it's lighter coverage I feel like when I use a beauty blender and I prefer lighter coverage. Using this L'Occitane and NARS Sheer Glow foundation together just put just putting that on the back. Oh god after the first pump it always just explodes everywhere. Um, so one pump of the L'Occitane and then one pump of the NARS Sheer Glow. Eh. That was like half a pump. That's why I had to do it again. But anyway, and then I just mix it on my hand, and then I just put it on, I'll start, I usually just start with one side of my face. So I just kind of pounce that all over and take it down my neck as well. You can see that I'm starting to get a bit pale, paler, because um, you know, summer is not here. And, London has no sun, except for right now. For some reason, it does. Um, it was pouring down rain earlier, and now it's sunny. Like, what? But anyway, um, what was I just saying? I don't know. But my body is still tanner than my face, so this ends up matching my body pretty well. Make sure you blend it into the hairline as well. And then I do the same thing on the other side. One pump of the L'Occitane one pump of the NARS Sheer Glow. to take my YSL aka Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat foundation in 2.5 and I do one pump for each side and I'm also going to run this on the sides of my nose do another pump do it on this side run it on this side and then I'm also going to put it down my nose even though I will be adding more highlight down my nose and on my cupid's bow do one more pump and put just a little bit between my eyebrows. And then I take the tip of the beauty blender and blend it in. After I've done that, I'm just going to go through and contour. I'm using my MAC Harmony blush and my Real Techniques bronzing brush and contouring with this. And what I like to do for contouring is the three. I think I've discussed this before, but um, so I basically take it from my forehead, down my temple, into the hollows of my cheeks, down like right below, like by my ear, and then along my jawline. So I'll just show you guys. So basically just rubbing this on the tops of my forehead where the light would hit and down to my temple and then you want to make a fish face if you need to. It shows you where the hollows of your cheeks are and you just contour in there. I don't take it all the way down. I take it, I'd say, maybe like a little more than halfway from here to my mouth. And this is really going to make your face appear slimmer and just give it more shadow and definition. Then take it down. And do your jawline as well. 
and obviously repeat on the other side. a little bit on my chin like below my chin and down my neck to help blend this all together and also just make my face look more tan I take Hoola bronzer by benefit and an elf complexion brush or just a bigger brush and do the same thing um, but it just helps add more color to your face and also blend out the harsher lines and then also the sides of my nose Now since this is a contouring video, I am going to properly contour my nose for you guys so you can see how to do it if you wanted to. I often don't do this, but some people do like to make their nose appear smaller and slimmer, so I'll show you how to do I'm that. I'm going to take this Real Technique, it's like a really, really small precision brush, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'm going to dip that into the MAC Harmony and basically go down like from my eyebrow down my nose if that makes sense so I'll just show you this is just gonna make the nose appear slimmer if you start up here can you see that And then just take it down the bridge of your nose on the sides. And then also just take it like to the tip. And this is going to make your nose look a bit pointier. I'll use my finger just to blend this. And a brush as well. I'll go in with that bronzing brush and just blend a little bit. You can also take more bronzer on your brush and sweep on the sides of your nose like this just to create that shadow. There we go. If you want to add a more harsh contour, like if you really want your cheekbones to be defined, so just taking a smaller brush, I'm going to use this e.l.f. contour brush, and you basically just rub it in, and you can make a really, really harsh, sharp line. See that? And then buff it in. I just kind of go around it in a circular motion. And you could also do it around your temples and on your jawline. Look at me like multi brushing. <laughs> Now for blush. For this specific tutorial, I'm just going to use my NARS Orgasm Blush. I do not always use this blush, though. I like to switch it up. I'll take my e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush with this and just apply this um, on the apples of my cheeks and then up into my temple a bit. Going up into the temple adds some dimension. Okay guys, so now my final step is just highlighting, and my favorite highlight at the moment is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Adored. And what I do is I take the lighter pearlescent color, and I just put this on the highs of my cheekbones with my finger, down my nose, 
and wherever I just want highlighted. So above my cupid's bow and under my brow bone as well. So that is how I contour and um, highlight in my foundation as well. So I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so all I did was added some mascara, but that was my um, highlighting and contouring look with my foundation included. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe as well for more. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!